The name of the Lord is worthy to be praised, Lord. Lord, we worship you this morning. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise this morning. You are worthy. You are worthy. I just feel like worshiping the Lord. I don't know about you this morning. I don't know why you're here this morning. But I just feel like worshiping the Lord. Because he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. Hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, you're worthy, you're worthy, Lord. For out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Hallelujah, we worship you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we worship you. We give you glory and honor, Lord. We praise you. You are majesty. You are the king. You are the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. You are all things by the word of your power. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Oh, that we can come together in your house to praise and give glory to your name. We worship you this morning. We magnify your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We praise you. We worship you, Lord.
Chisholm come to bring you the welcome. I just want to welcome you. I just want to welcome you this morning. And this is the day that the Lord has made. This is there is not a, not another day like today. Amen. Tomorrow, yesterday is past and it's gone. But today is a day when you're in the house of God to give thanks to the name of the Lord. Yeah. And you know, I'm going to give the Lord all my best today. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because there's not another moment like this moment yeah. when you're in the house of God and Mother's Day to give God thanks. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because God is good. Hallelujah. 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 There is no one like Jesus. There is no other God that can compare him to be. What, what can you think of when, when you think of Jesus? When you think of Jesus and all his love and all his compassion. When you think of Jesus, that just one little simple touch and your life is renewed. One little touch and your burdens are gone. One little touch and you're healed. And guess what? As we worship the Lord and invite the presence of God in, and where the presence of God is, he is there to do good. He's here this morning to do every single one of us something that is good. Amen. 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 Praise be to the name of the Lord. So I just want to welcome you this morning. Hallelujah. For those of us who are on the internet and you stream. Hallelujah. Watching us all over the world today. Hallelujah. We are in the house of God. And if you are not in the house of God or in your house watching us, just take your Bible and just sit down and enjoy the worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the power of God moved through cable TV, internet, to you stream the power of God is just real where you are as where we are today. Amen. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Deacon Hutchinson is coming to welcome you this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise God. First, I must give honor to the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, who is our comforter. Praise God. And to my, the shepherd of this house, praise God. I would like the shepherd of this house to stand at the newcomers, our new visitors that don't know him, you know, who recognize who he is. So praise God. Praise the Lord. And to his lovely wife, who is the co-founder, praise God, will you stand to his hand? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And to each and every one, Amen. ministers, pastors, visitors, I welcome you all Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. We praise God. Amen. We praise the Lord. Amen. And I pray and hope that whoever come through the gate, because the word that is that whoever enter into his gate should come with a prayer and into his court with a worship. We praise that. Amen. And I pray and hope that it will all be in us today. We praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is there anyone? First, I must say, my part of my family is in the house. Amen. We praise God. Amen. We praise the Lord. We praise the God, and I, I'm so happy, yeah. you know, that he could be here. It's not because of me why he's here today. It's because of a special day. Amen. A special day, right? Yeah. And this is day, you know, it's a special day that was still laid out for the mothers, yeah. right? So I must say, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers yeah. in the house. We yeah. praise God. Yeah. Is there any first time, second time, even third time visitors in the house today. 
Would you please stand? And then I will come with the mic and you give your name and who invited you. Amen. Praise God. of worship last year and you know I was so blessed you know you I, I feel free to worship yeah. free to praise him yeah. and I just want to give God all the praise and all the thanks yeah. first God I must say good morning and this is the first time I've been here I'm not a New York citizen I'm a Jamaican <laughs> let's come to Jamaica by my niece here. I don't know what you remember. <laughs> no, I remember you. I don't remember the other name, so. Sister Brown, okay. So she invited me and I came with her and I just feel free and feel in the presence of the Lord. So as for me and her, I don't know when else I will visit with her again. So God bless you. Glory be to God. Bless you all. Bless Good, morning. You. Good morning. My name is Sandra Godfrey, daughter of Cynthia Godfrey. You might have seen her around. And where he leads me, I will follow. I'm from Florida. And anywhere God leads me, anywhere Minister Hibbert and Pastor Minister Chambers and Pastor Chambers is, I will follow. So wherever they are, you will always see me. God bless you all. Nice to be here today. Praise God. Amen. I was invited here by my parents while I was in town. Yeah. And my father will pay for this. Amen. But uh, Jermaine Hutchinson, firstborn son, <laughs> about to lose a parent. <laughs> but it's good to be here. And again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. And uh, we have one more visitor, but I think she's a little shy. She don't want to smile, right? So that's all right. Well, could you stand up, please, still? Hello? Yes, yeah, stand up. Okay. Okay. As I said before, it's nice to have you all. We praise God. And I know without you all, you know, the church would be empty. One thing I know, my bishop would be still here. Praising his God. Whether we all was here, yes or no, he will still be here. But we are happy for you all. And I'm not going to tell you to sit back and relax, you know, because there is a purpose why you are here. Amen? Amen. Amen. So just enjoy the service. And I hope and pray that whenever you leave here, you will say it was good for you to be here. You will not go through that door the same way that you entered. Amen. We praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's see all the mothers in the house. Let all the mothers stand. Every mother. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for all the mothers in the house. And some people couldn't stand, but they're going to be mother again soon. Praise God. Let the mother please stand. Every mother please stand. Every mother stand. Hallelujah. And we're going to stand with the mothers. And we're going to sing. And we're going to greet all the mothers. And greet each other. Hallelujah. He is sweet, I know. You know that song? No. <laughs> and stormy winds may blow. I tell the world well, wherever I may go I found the same
Mother's Day to the lovely mothers. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to my mom who is watching from the stream right now. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Right? Hallelujah. <laughs> Brother Campbell is coming with the scriptures. All right. Bless God. Hallelujah. Amen. My lesson is taken from St. John chapter 17. Okay. We are stand to read of God's holy word. Read the alternate. And to our visitors, we begin the reading, reading the Bible from the book of Genesis chapter 1. We read a chapter a day, and today we are at St. John chapter 17. Read alternately. Be I begin. 
These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son may also glorify thee. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou art sent. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Now they have known all things that whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou givest me, and they have seen them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou art given me, that they may be one as we are. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from all evil. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. I in them, and thou in me, that thou mayst be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou art sent me, and I had loved them as thou art loved me. Twenty-five and twenty-six. We read together. O oh, righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these are those that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it that the love wherein thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Praise be to God. Here in the our reading of God's holy word, we honored by saying. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, it's nor never shall it be, word without end, in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the Lord. You know, as, as the scripture was being read, you know, I just noticed a little part where Jesus said, I'm praying, but I don't want you to take them out of the world. Yeah. You know, so we are being at the world, but yeah. God only promised that he would preserve us, yeah. keep us from the evil yeah. that is in the world. Amen? Amen. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Before David come to read him, um, the notices this morning. Praise God. I want to ask a mother. I'm going to pick on one of the mother this morning. And I'm, I, I'm going to ask uh, um, Sister Hutchinson, right? <laughs> Deaconess Hutchinson to come. And uh, she's going to just tell us what it is like to be a mother. Because fathers don't realize, you know, the tremendous work that the mothers have to do. You know, I have a child for nine months. Your eldest son is here, you know, giving trouble, kicking in the womb, doing all sorts of stuff. You know, tell us. Yes, and believe me, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Amen. What can I say about mothers? I have to tell the truth because we have mothers here, right? Yeah. So I can't say anything that's not true. <laughs> to be a mother is very hard. To be a mother is very easy. It's very hard when your kids need and you don't have to give. That's the hard part. It's hard when they are hurting and you can't help the hurt. That's the hard part. But it's easy. It's easy because you have that love, that special love in your heart. And no matter what, no matter what your child might do, they may, some of them may be in prison or whatever, but that does not stop you from loving them because love can reach beyond walls. Love can reach through darkness. So being a mother, it's hard and it's easy. But with God's grace, we can be the best mothers we can we are. Amen. 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 Praise be to the name of Jesus. Deaconess Wilkes, come quickly. Say something. I'm just picking on people random that I know can say something. All right? Just tell us what it means to be a mother. Praise the, Praise the Lord. To be a mother, as what Sister Ashi said, it's easy. For me, it's easy, thank God, because my mother taught me the way how to be a mother. Amen. And the best part in it is to don't compromise with your child, don't fear what, yes. you know. So to be a mother, it's very easy when, you, when God is in it. Yes. There is no limit. And I thank God for I am a mother, especially this morning when all my kids were around me. Yeah. Those from Jamaica called and said, Mom, I would not change you Amen. for Praise another God. mother Amen. because you are the best mother yeah. in the world. Yeah. We were taught because you taught us the right way, Amen. the principle. Yes. And that's it. Thank God. And I did have a husband who is like a mother. Okay. He was a father, but he was like a mother. We Amen. do things together. Yes. Without a father, the mother could not survive. The both of you have to be in it together. Thank God. Bless God. Bless God. Hallelujah. The testimony is wise counsel in the ear of the believers. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We're going to ask um, David, who's going to come to read the morning's notices. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord one time. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Well, greetings to each and every one of you joining us today. Greetings to all the mothers. Amen. Special day for all of you. We don't know where we'd be without you. I'll tell you one thing, without you, most of us wouldn't be here. Oh, I can tell, let me tell you a little bit about my little piece called mothers. Yeah. I hear Minnesota already saying, oh Jesus, because she already know, that's one of my mothers right here. Maybe my aunt, but it's still one of my mothers. Amen. I'll tell you one, one time, I'll give you a little story. One time, me and my sister got into an argument. My older sister, who's not with us today, I dropped one word at her, 
and it's not one holy word, I tell you what. And then she went and told minister, and then minister dragged me to the sink. She get the soap, put the soap in my mouth, and she said, you're gonna wash out that dirty word from your mouth. No kind of word like that should come out your mouth. She poured the soap in, this was liquid soap, mind you. She poured it in there, get to push the water in there, she's like, spit it out, spit out the dirty word, spit it out. <laughs> so, you know, she was very instrumental in my upbringing. I have, you know, I even have some mothers in here. I see my one of my mothers back there being an usher. Mother, daddy, sister Douglas. She's not here right now, but she, one of my mothers, used to pick me up from school when I was like 10, did that for a while. And you know, I mean, even just people, Sister Will, Sister Hutchinson, um, is, is Mother Edna in here right now? There's a lot of mothers just all through here that just, they pour into us continually. And we're thankful for you all. Amen. Anyway, notice this. Pleasant good afternoon to all the children of God, visiting friends, and those who are committed to Rescue the Perishing Deliverance Ministries. We are glad that you have come to fellowship with us today. These are the announcements for Sunday, May 11th, 2014. Our address is Rescue the Perishing Deliverance Ministries, 455 Rogers Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11225. Telephone number 347-435-3532. Pastor and founder, Reverend Delroy Chambers. Co-pastor and co-founder, Minister Yvonne Chambers. We begin each Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. with Sunday school. Our divine worship service begins at 10.45 a.m. until 2 p.m. Our Sunday night evangelistic service begins at 6.45 p.m. with prayer. Monday night from 8 p.m. until 10 p.m., we have men's fellowship. <coughs> Tuesdays from 7 p.m. until 8 p.m., we have our weekly prayer meetings. And immediately following, we have our weekly Bible study. This commences at 8 p.m. and ends at 10 p.m. Thursdays from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m., we have our weekly fasting service. Every first Thursday, we host a special deliverance fasting service. Fridays at 7.30, we have youth fellowship for the entire family. All are invited. I won't add to that. Not, I'll make no trouble today. <laughs> the Lord's Supper will be done on the first Sunday of each month. Reverend Juliet Douglas will be celebrating her birthday tomorrow. We wish for all the best and for many more years. Amen. Pastor Chambers would love to meet with all the officers after church for a short meeting. Choir members are reminded that their practice on Wednesdays at 7.30. If you are celebrating an anniversary, birthday, or any important event, please let us know so that we can celebrate with you and appreciate you in whatever way we can. We are looking for members who are committed to the ministry. Would you like to sing for the Lord in our choir? Please see Minister Chambers after church today. We will be going to Sight and Sound on August 23rd to see the show Moses. Adults 18 and up, $150. Children 12 to 17, $120. And children under 12, $100. The bus will be leaving at 7.30 a.m. Tickets, tickets are available now. Refreshments will be served on board. Fare included. The fare includes the show, transportation, and lunch. You can do a payment plan. The first installment was, is it, it says it's due today, but it, I, knew, I know it was due from before. It's due long before, so get your payments in now if you're interested. The last payment, or the deadline for all payments, I should say, is due June 30th. Brother Lawrence and Sister Monica and Deacon-elect Morgan, alo along with Deaconess Hutchinson, will have further information if you'd like to find and see them. Okay. One thing I should say about Sight and Sound. You know, Pastor told me about sight and sound. My first time was going last year. He even he told me, when they say sight and sound, you see that sight and you see that sound. Yeah. I mean, when we went last year to see Noah, man, I felt like I was on that rocking boat. Yeah. It was truly a blessing. Yeah. Amen. 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 Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over. Shall men give into your bosom? For the same measure that ye 
meat from all it shall be measured to you again. Luke 6, 38. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Isaiah 1, 19. We can be seen on BCAT TV every first and third Sunday at 11.30 a.m. Cablevision Channel 69, Time Warner Channel 56, RCN Channel 84, Verizon Fios Channel 44. And obviously we have YouTube and Ustream and Facebook in which you can tune in and see us all as well. Those of us who are watching, good morning. We hope that you're blessed today. We, there will be no service tonight. Also, Sister Cooper would like us to know that next week the baby is being christened here as there will be refreshments after said christening. Thought for the week. Be content with what you have. For God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Amen. So say with confidence, the Lord is my helper and I will not be afraid. Let me read that one more time for you. Be content with what you have. For God has said, I will never leave you, and I will never forsake you. So say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. Somebody say, the Lord is my helper. The Lord is my helper. And I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. These are the announcements. Please act upon them where possible. Thank you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Come on, praise God. Open the heart. Hallelujah. I wake up to a way more confidence and where the other Jews giving me all that he or she thinks I deserve, but I'm still praising God. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Just to remind us of our upcoming prayer breakfast that takes us into, I just checked the calendar, two full weeks, six days, and 23 hours. Did I say two full weeks, six days, approximately? 23 hours and that is the last Saturday of this month mm -hmm. and if you're a member of Rescue Depression you need to touch your neighbor and say this is our prayer breakfast yes. and I would love for everyone please don't stay on the shore and look at, us, look at us in the middle of the sea but I want everyone to get involved touch your neighbor and say you need to get involved Come on, if you are not a, a usher, you're supposed to be a cook. If you're not a cook, you're a shearer. If you're not a shearer, then you must do something. Amen? Amen. So when Minister calls them, you get yourself ready. And we'd love for persons to contribute in some way. I, love for the, I would love for all the young brothers and all the brothers, did I say all the brothers? Yes. To get involved on the last Saturday, if you're not going to cook, you're going to share. Don't look at me like that, Deacon. If you're not going to share, you're going to usher, if you're going you're gonna to do something. You, Deacon in the red, looking in front of you. Deacon is ushering, so. <laughs> Why? What's funny? <laughs> so, on a more serious note, I want everybody to get involved, okay? Amen. Young people, old, middle age, I want us to get involved. And <coughs> we, we have a menu list after church I'll make I'll mention the menu list and also we we want contribution by cash or kind and we have a number of tickets here that has not gone out but we want you to invite your friends and your neighbors and your enemies and everyone it's prayer breakfast we will pray for them amen, amen. oh Jesus amen, amen. I don't I want I, I, I am I am, I am <coughs> extremely serious now I'm going to call on everybody to get involved. When I use the key and I walk and where I walk from to, I'm going to ask. Sister, God, they're laughing. You're going to get involved too. <laughs> we haven't seen you for a while. Amen, people of God? Amen. And this is our prayer. We want it to be a success. And it only can be done through us with prayer and fasting. So we're going to hold ourselves on that one. Amen. We love you today. God bless you. Tickets are available. You can still, it's two, it's still two weeks, six days and 23 hours. You can still sell them. Amen? Amen. A contribution is welcome at any time. I turn back to my, the mic for Minister Garfield at this time. Speak to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
We are in the house of the Lord today. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is the hour where every one of us get to participate in this part of the worship. We worship the Lord in our giving. So we are going to ask all the mothers to come to the front, come and stand at the front, and the men, all the men, go to the back, and they are going to present each mother with a gift this morning. Amen. Praise God. All the mothers, please come. God. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Uh, we, okay, I'm going to sing a solo for the mothers. Okay? A solo for the mothers. I'm going to ask Pastor if he can play for me. so beautiful to have so many mothers here this morning. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of Jesus. As the men come and they give your presence this morning. Not long ago I was thinking of home and I wonder if my mama was there all alone. I thought I'd drop by as I've done before Till the sound from within Make me stop at the door She was praying Praying for someone like the sound of her voice as she spoke my name brought tears to my eyes. My heart feels ashamed. Praying, praying for someone like me. The sound of her voice as she spoke my name, brought tears to my eyes, my heart feels ashamed, praying, praying for someone like me. I was walking one night, and I felt so Hello. It is as, as if a love heart will come rescue the perishing unto you. And I hope you enjoy. 
Day again, yes, I was walking one night and I felt so all alone. My heart was weary with the troubles I've known. I had noticed a church that was near till the sound from the within seems to fill the air they were praying praying for someone like me the sound of her voice as she spoke my name don't move brought tears to my eyes my heart feels ashamed Praying, praying for someone like me. The sound of her voice as she spoke my name brought tears to my eyes. My heart feels ashamed. Praying, praying for someone. so beautiful to see all the lovely mothers here this morning, you know, received in the presence, and that there's a small token of our love. Amen. But I'm going to pray for the mothers this morning. I'm going to pray for all of you that are here. This was not on the program, but I'm going to pray for you this morning, because mothers are very important to us. You know, we have people in the church that we call church mothers is because they represent something. Amen. They represent leadership. They represent guidance. You know, um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, in, in a family setting, sometimes as a father, sometimes the child rather to go to the mother and talk some of the personal things. You know, because mother of a special, I would say, ministry, our special love, that sometimes the tenderness that is in, in, in the heart of the mother, sometimes the child would rather go to the mother to talk to the mother for godly advice. Not all mothers are like that, because sometimes you have find some mother that, that can be harsh, that have no feelings. You know, I, I know of, of people, kids that hate their mother, you know, because many of them don't set the example, the godliness, you know, that they should set. But, you know, uh, as godly woman, a godly woman in the church of the living God, we are to set the example. You, you should be the example for the younger mothers that are coming up, amen? Amen. Amen. And a mother in the church that should be they, 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 they should be so that when a young person have problem, they can come to you and sit down and say, I need to talk to you. And the reason why they can see you and say that they want to talk to you because they see something in you that that, that they know that you can give them the answer to their problem. Amen. 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 Godly woman, godly mothers should should be like that. You should not be harsh and it up. That pe kids and, and, and the young people want to keep away from you. But you should have that spirit that that hoping to welcome people. You know, Jesus was was that type of person. Jesus was he was he was the type of Jesus that was the little kid can feel comfortable in his presence. The adult can feel comfortable in his presence. Those that were, were rejected from other people can feel comfortable in his presence. You know, everyone feel comfortable. Jesus, they, kids would come around Jesus. And, Jesus and, and people would say, put aside the kids. Jesus said, no. Some of them to come unto me. You should have that sort of spirit that 
People want to come and talk to you. Amen? Amen. Amen. And that's what mothers in the church should have. And I'm going to pray that that spirit, that spirit, you know, I'm taking up a lot of time, but, but this is good. This is Mother's Day. This is your day. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, let, let's have some men stand up here now. Come on, come on. Let some, some men stand up right here with me this morning. Amen. Pastor, come and stand up right here beside me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor said it quick. Amen. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we present all these beautiful ladies before you. Women of God. Women in whom God, you pray, you place your presence, your spirit. Father, virtuous woman, mothers, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Father, let there be a bond in the, in the lives of the mothers. Father, let there be a spirit, the spirit of joy, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of meekness. Father, in the name of Jesus, give them the tongue of the learned. Give them the tongue that will speak wisdom to the young, the young mothers and young women in the church. Father, in the name of Jesus, let godliness come forth out of the lives of these mothers. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the anointing and the presence of God rest upon these mothers that would give godly instruction to those that would come by. Father, no. I leave all the mothers in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the blessed Holy Spirit. And the mothers are blessed today. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Put your hands and clap for Jesus. You may go back to your seat. Thank you. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Praise God. And I'm going to ask you to just take out your tithes and your offerings. And we are going to give to God that which the Lord had blessed us with. And I'm going to ask everyone to just hold your tithes and your offering in your hand as you give to the Lord today. Amen. Let us all stand. Everybody just hold their portion before the Lord. Everybody just hold their portion before the Lord. Repeat after me.